losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious and panic The infinite vastness Of all that is blackness I'm trying not to wash it so much. Mm. Anyway, today is February 18th, I believe. And today is the day I changed my life. And I have to go back to low carb. I have to go back to keto because I... I used to just feel really good as I was doing that. I don't think I'm going to go like extremely strict keto where I'm eating like 10 carbs a day or something, but low carb mostly. Um, I have battled eating disorders my whole life and well, since I was like 15 years old and I'm 35 now, so 20 years. And in the last year I successfully beat all of them for the first time because I just gradually for the first time in my life was losing weight naturally by diet, exercise, balance. But the thing is I'm experiencing some health concerns so even though I'm 40 pounds down from my max of 300 pounds, I'm, I want to reduce the carbs and I want to do low carb and keto again because I just am worried about things like cancer and diabetes and like the other day I had like this bruise under this arm and I was like having so much pain in here and like I just feel like there's been a fullness on this side of my body for quite some time and I kept having like MRIs and caps like and things. You can almost see a lump. Anyway, um, I just remember when I did keto the very first time, like all the little, like, little crunchies, I call them under here, like went away first. So I'm hoping that when I do that this time around, I've been avoiding blood work for a year. Like, yes, this video is all over the place because there's just a lot. I've talked touched base on a lot of things in my video f from autism, ADHD, CPTSD, fibromyalgia, um, <laughs> weight, and this is important. So, you know, like as we get older, our recovery slows down and our metabolisms and our you know, just so I'm a sugar a holic, <laughs> sugar holic or sugar a like however you say. It. I'm just like addicted to sugar because I don't dr drink anymore. I don't smoke. I don't do drugs. I don't have other like addictions, and sugar is my really bad habit. And. Anyway, um, I think I'm only taking this video so I have it to look back on in the future when I actually make some progress. I'm not just going to upload it as is. So, let's see where I get to in a month or so. I should do a, like a full 360 body <laughs> shot, but... Hmm. 
Yes, I will. Bloated. Oh my god. <laughs> the angle is sticky. Like, I already, I know I have a big butt, but the angle is just. <laughs> <laughs> I got it from my mom. <laughs> Maybe I should wear something tight on top. No, big, big ass, but no boobs. When I was like doing a delivery driver job for a while, my butt was like losing all its cellulite and stuff, but I think it's coming back. Okay. So that's my starting point, even though I'm 40 pounds, did I say 30? I meant 40 pounds down. I'm like two pounds up from like 260 so and my max is like has been probably like 305 or something so pretty much 40 pounds so I'd like to at least lose 60 pounds I don't want before when I was like athletic and curvy and feeling better about myself I was always around like 200 so I want to set realistic expectations for myself and not feel bad about the body I have um even if I was at my absolute best it'd probably be like 150 like there's no way I'd be any less than that and I don't want to like the absolute max I would want to be is maybe like or lowest is like 180 but we'll see what happens um another thing too is uh like, I believe people who are bigger, like, people deserve love at any size, but me personally, I just really have a lot of issues with my body because I went up from, like, 180-ish in grade 7 all the way up to 230 in 8th grade, and then in grade 9, I went all the way down to 160, and then I kind of stayed up I was at 200 for a long time then I went up again down I've been like on a freaking roller coaster and I just want to get off this roller coaster and I don't feel comfortable dating until I like lose some more weight and even then like it's not a pretty sight like I have loose skin I have cellulite I have stretch marks yeah it's um as beyond doing low carb keto and maybe working out again and going to the gym and um you know i have fibromyalgia so i can't push myself that far but when it comes to diet i know it could be doing a lot better but one thing i will do is um i eliminate my food sensitivities as well i have a ton and they lead to all kinds of things beyond like bowel issues and just skin issues. They can lead, it's like brain fog, joint pain, um, just a whole bunch of things you wouldn't suspect. So I'm hoping that helps as well. Okay, wish me luck. <laughs>